Hi. Hi. Are you sure you can prepare for product based companies through this course? Yes, sitting at home. No way. Yes way. Don't delay. Enroll now. Geeks learning together. Hello guys and welcome back to this amazing channel. This is Abhinav. Today we are back with our next problem of the day. So the POD today is uh, median of uh, BST. Okay, it's an easy problem and we will also use our easy method to solve it. We will not make it very complex, okay? Because the POD for this July is basically uh, designed for beginners uh, and some important questions. The questions which are there in the whole POD of July is, are important questions. And are some that are also familiar with beginners. Beginners can also solve such, such questions. Okay. So we'll focus on that. Okay. And we will uh, work accordingly. Okay. So hi, Nakaj. Hi, Rishit. Hi, Muzumdar. Okay. Uh, let's start with our today's class. Let me share the screen. Great. So here is the problem, guys. This is median of BST. So guys, uh, what is a median? So basically, guys, for uh, finding the median of an array, so let's say if we have a array and we have to find the median of it. So let's say the uh, array is something like this 5, 3, 8, 1, 7, 6. Okay. Uh, so for median, first of all, you have to sort the array. So after sorting, it will become 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. And if there are odd number, so median is basically the n by 2 plus 1 at number, means the middle number. And if there are even numbers, so basically the, the average of both the numbers is the mid so here it's the even number even number there so it's 5 plus 6 by 2 is the median so how we can get numbers of a binary search tree in sorted form can anyone tell me how numbers of a binary search tree we can get in sorted anyone how Nakaj, actually, if you will see, both the methods will take extra space. I will take an overview of the other method also if you guys want, okay? Uh, but uh, it will not, because in that matter also, if you will see the recursive stack, it will take order of log and recursive, okay? Uh, and the method that we will solve is order of n space. So I don't think that the space matters a lot. Time complex will be same, okay? I will give an overview of the other solution also if you guys want, okay? No worries. Yeah, so great. Yeah, so we have to find an in order traversal. Okay, so if we can find an in order traversal of a binary search, so if you will see that this will this one, so it's six three eight. I will show you. It's six three eight one four seven nine. So the in order of this. So what is in order? In order first takes the left child, then the node, and then the right child. Okay, so it goes something like this. We make it like this and we start from it. So 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So it is in sorted order basically. So the in order of this particular thing will be 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Means it is sorted. Okay. So what we will do that we can create here a, a, a vector maybe or maybe a common vector of integers let's say i will call it in order okay and i will create a function called uh, in order which will take simply this okay now if root is null you will simply return and else first we call for the left subtree okay so first of all we will call for the left subtree then in the current in order we will push our data and then we will call for right subtree so is this method clear to everyone 
I hope that uh, how we can find the in order scale value. It's a simple recursive function. Okay. Now what we'll do here we'll simply call this in order function with the given root. Okay. With the given root. Now what we'll do is that after finding this in order function with the given root, we have that array. Now we'll find the size. Size means how many uh, nodes did it have? Okay. So we will take how many nodes it have. Hi, Subham. After a lot of time, okay. Hi, hi. Nice to see you. So uh, this is the thing. Okay. Now, uh, so if this n is, let's say, even, or let's say odd. So if n is odd, so let's say if there are only five uh, elements: one, five, six, eight, ten. So simply this particular index means n by twoth index is the answer. Okay. So you will simply return what? In order, n by two. But because we have to uh, return in a float form, we will multiply point one with it. Okay. And else, guys, else if it is not the case, if it is not the case, then we have to return the mean of basically. We have to return the mean of n by two plus n by two plus one. Divided by two. Okay, so this is the basic thing how we are doing it. A very basic thing. Okay. Uh. Okay, here we have to make it minus one, maybe. Yeah, it should be n by two and n by two minus one. Okay, and and in after every case, we have to clear this in order array actually. uh yeah no 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 it's going wrong mm. for every call we will clear this in order array because the same array is used by all the functions okay yeah now it's fine okay so i am clearing this in order array because every time it the same array will be used na so it should be uh, clear and this is the basic thing how we are going to solve so first of all we are finding the in order okay and then because in order contains the sorted form we all know then we are simply checking if it is odd number of elements then simply get the middle element otherwise get the median of the two middle elements is this approach clear to everyone is this approach clear to everyone okay great so this is the basic thing a very uh, fine solution of this particular problem okay uh, there is one more uh, how so in that uh, solution also guys if you will see the same thing will happen first of all you have to find number of nodes because number of nodes is yeah yeah, yeah. i'm i'm explaining that research i'm explaining the other approach maybe uh, i will take a look of a uh, existing code okay uh, yeah i guess this is a better one so i will uh, tell you about this particular code okay so see what is happening is uh, a better code i am just searching for so that i can explain you in a good way mm, this is the that one only mm. yeah i guess this is a better one 
yes 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 see see so let me let me tell you what it is so see first of all uh, this is a very very uh, good uh, solution okay is it uh, clear is it, is it visible to everyone see guys so this is a function called find median okay you will understand it very clearly it's not very tough don't worry okay don't worry it's not very tough first of all what we are doing is so we we have what we have is first of all for this root we are counting how many nodes are there in this particular binary tree okay because that is very important to check it is very important to check how many nodes are there so let's say that there are uh, let's say a uh, root nodes present okay there are uh, n nodes present so for that we are simply having the count uh, node function just similar to this uh, uh, what you can say in, in in order so just one plus so let's say you are at root so one means that root plus all the nodes in the left plus all the nodes in the right so do you do you all know how you can uh, like uh, how you can find number of nodes everyone is clear with that how you can count number of nodes in a binary search tree that's a very basic thing that is clear uh, when for uh, infosys my soul training oh great shubham great great amazing uh, yeah is it clear to everyone ki how we can find uh, count number of nodes so what we can do let's say we are here so we will say 1 Plus one means the current node plus plus count on the left subtree and plus count on the right subtree. Okay, great. Now what we'll do is so now let's say we know that there are n number of nodes. And now see if n is a odd number. Sorry, if n is a even uh, wait n mod two is not equal to zero. Uh, that means it's a odd number. Okay, so when n is a odd number. Then we need just one index. Which one? So if n is a odd number, then we just need, uh, in this case, what we have taken was, we just need n by two plus one at node. Okay. So I will take another. So if it is a odd number, we just need n plus one. Sorry, n by two plus one at node. And if it is even one, then we want n by two, and n by two plus one at node, and dono ka average. Am I right? Is it clear? Okay. So, आपका logic correct नहीं होगा बिट्टू. Okay, your logic should not be like is not completely correct. That is why it's not uh, passing. Okay. So now what we have, if n is a odd number. Then we are checking for n by two plus one and n by two plus one means the same node. We will add it and divide by two. And if it is an even one, then we are searching from n by two and n by two plus one. Now how we are getting those two nodes? For that we have a different function called traverse function. Now this is a very basic function. So if you will, if you know, it's a very basic. Uh, uh, it's a it's a it's a really difficult uh, different concept. Where uh, the concept says how you can find the nth node of the uh, binary search tree. So, ये एक अलग ही क्वेश्चन है. If you guys will search for ना how we can find the nth node of binary search tree, you will get that. And this is the function which is written. I will explain you this also. Okay, don't worry. I will explain you this also. So let's say that we want the uh, let's say we want the n plus one by two second node. Okay. So what we will do? We will simply iterate. Okay. So first of all, we get the left sub tree. Okay. So when left subtree will be there, I will check how many nodes are there in left subtree. If i is equal equal to node one, so let's say so i means in which node we are currently. So let's say we are currently in the ith node. We are currently in the ith node, and i is equal equal to node one that we want. So let's say we want the fourth node, and currently we are the fourth node. Simply set a is equal to that particular node data. And let's say we want sixth node. Second is the sixth node that we want, and we are currently at the sixth node. So set B as the root data, and then at the last simply give the median of it. So basically, this function is of three parts. I will tell you. First, you are counting the nodes. Then you are checking if it is odd or even. So for odd or even, you have two cases, as I have written, these two. Then based on that cases, you are traversing. And getting that particular nodes, and then you are just simply finding the main of it. Okay, so this is the thing. I will I will share this particular code also with you guys if you guys want. Okay, uh, 
great that's it yeah it, it is a really real problem and the, all the problems that are currently uh, in this july wala pod they all are important problem i hope that you have got it okay so thank you for today's pod let's meet again tomorrow with the next problem so maybe if it is it's a isu nakaj and bitu it will be done if it's from our side our tech team will handle it don't worry uh, okay thank you guys thanks for today's class let's meet again tomorrow till then thank you happy coding टेक केयर बाय बाय जी एफ जी कर लो हो जाएगा